All right, now that we know what generative AI is, let's take a look at how it works. Generative AI is powered by something called machine learning. Machine learning is a way for computers to learn patterns from a lot of data, like billions of sentences, images, or sounds, and use those patterns to create something totally new. It's quite similar to how we learn. When you teach students how to write essays, they practice by reading and writing until they understand the structure and can write on their own. AI works in a similar way, but much faster. Here's how it works in three steps. First, the AI is trained. It's shown a massive amount of data. ChatGPT was trained on billions of pieces of text, books, articles, websites, so that it could learn how language actually works like grammar, tone, and context. DALI, on the other hand, learned from images paired with descriptions, so it could understand what a blue sky or a running dog actually looks like. And then in the second step, the AI learns patterns. While training, the AI doesn't just memorize everything. Instead, it looks for relationships and patterns. For example, if it sees the word classroom, it learns that words like teacher, students, and learning are often related. This helps it predict and generate relevant responses or creations. And in the third and final step, the AI generates new content. When you give it a prompt like write a story about a curious cat, it uses what it learned during training to create something brand new, a story, an image, or even a video. It doesn't copy the training data, it combines patterns it knows to produce something original. Now, why does this matter for us as teachers? Understanding how generative AI works helps you use it more effectively. For example, if you are using ChatGPT to create a worksheet, you will know that the AI works best when you give clear, specific instructions. It's not guessing. It's using patterns from its training data to give you the best possible response. One important thing to remember, generative AI is only as good as the data it's trained on. If the data has gaps or biases, the AI might make decisions or produce results that need further tweaking. That's where your expertise as a teacher comes in, to guide it and make sure the output fits your needs. So in short, generative AI learns from lots of examples, finds patterns, and then creates something based on your input.